welcome to Pink Poodle 2. I am Pink Poodle. This is Maisie the East End Poodle and we are Pink Poodle 2. And it's that time of month again. I've got my witch hat on. So this could only mean of one thing and that means I have one of my alternative um, witch base boxes which is Freya's Cauldron. Freya's Cauldron is £29 a month. It's run by a lovely lady called a witch called Freya and her husband. And yeah, I really enjoy this box quite a lot. I really do. And I already filmed this yesterday, but there was a lot of noise in the background and I would have been copyrighted, so I had to do it then, today. So, so I put a witch hat on, which is gone a bit funny. Can't see my face. It looks like I don't really have to do that. But yeah, so so this is Freya's cordon. It comes in like a grey... Um, bag and this is what it looks like so in Fry's Cauldron you open it up and you get like which you can't see because it's all around the bottom but the first thing you get when you open it is some things for the little shadows and um where are we going to do this now because I have got room for everything now um so book of shadows and in the book of shadows you get a at the moment you get a thing which is for um your calendar so at the moment it's november but we, which is the beaver moon and then we've got you the yule one is the next one we've got december already and it tells you when all the um dates after the full moon so the full moon in november is where is it the 27th and in December, it's the 27th as well. So there's two full moons on the 27th. So that's really cool. So I hang that up and I've got when the moons are and everything. So that's one thing. So in here we've got the Book of Shadows. And we generally have a letter in here, which I've got to read out because um, <clears throat> things are changing a little bit. So... Um, let me find this letter and I'll read it to you. Okay. Alright. Welcome to our November subscription box. Out with the old and in with the new. As you probably all know, the November box sees the completion of the Moon Witch series featuring the Celtic Moon Boards. We are now ready to move into a new venture from December. Our subscription box will be Practical Magic. I like the film. I like the film very much. I've got stuff all over me. Mucky and I. Um, don't worry, you already have an active subscription with us, so it will carry on not as normal. And December, Practical Magic um, box. Um, in, in January, we will be launching a Facebook subscriber group only, the Circle of Practical Magic. And all subscribers will be able to become members of the Circle. The Circle will be placed there for to provide guidance, inspiration in the form of download files guided rituals to help you give confidence to try out spells and rituals in your monthly boxes. More information on the group will be in your December box. We also will bring our subscribers more exper exclusive experience so we've decided to gradually reduce our sub box members to just 200 boxes. We've already been down, down the path of packing a little more um, we We've been down the path of packing thousands of boxes each month. It's now time to take a calmer route and make the boxes even more special. Don't worry though, you'll still be able to receive your monthly box for as long as you wish to. It just means that when somebody opts is out, their own someone can join, leaves the circle. Boxes will be available by subscription and past items will not be sold on the website. So basically, only get the goodies if you subscribe. We hope you will enjoy the part of the circle of practical magic and usually we welcome any ideas for things you would like to see in your boxes in the future. The future is bright, it's all full of magic. Blessings, Freya. So there's that. <clears throat> and then we've um, got the cheat sheet. That's the October one. I'll put that in there because I've got to put that away. Um, no, 
of um, cheat sheet and that tells you what's on there so just keep it to the side for a minute and then we have we have like the cosmic um, correspondence for December um, what the older moon is and about the tree and different things um, about the older moon and the older is the 13th and the last tree in the Celtic tree calendar uh, it's the winter solstice or euro code when the elder moon so it just tells you all about the elder moon there and all the stuff like that and then we have um some information about a couple of the items in here so lemon balm and jade tumble stone so remember that's all for your book shadows then there was a little booklet about crystals a little page and a bit about different crystals, crystal magic. So it names a couple of the crystals and some of them we actually received. So we'll be able to um, think. So there's that. And then we've got all about Yule. And it says, Yule is known as the winter solstice, midwinter Yule tide. 21st of December, which is my ex, my first boyfriend's birthday. Well, the 22nd, this is an astrological event, so the dates can vary. And then your deities are goddesses, mother, goddess, triple moon, earth goddess, Freya, the Norse god, Gaia, Diana, Artemis, and some of the men ones are the sun god, the oak king, the hoddy king, the green man, the red man, the horn man, Odin. Symbols are evergreens, ivy, mistletoe, yule logs. Colours are red, green, white, silver and gold. Decorate your altar with holly, mistletoe, ivy, cedar, bay, juniper, rosemary, pine, apples, oranges, nutmegs, lemons, pine cones, oak leaves and cinnamon sticks. And it's got about, uh, this celebration is the rebirth of the sun. The shortest day and the longest night marks the point in which the sun has reached its further extent and it's the north west trans north south transverse so yeah so and then people used to put their food away because it's dark nights cold nights and short days were sparse on the ground and if they didn't grow it they didn't have nothing to eat and nordics believed that the winter in solstice is when the holy king and the oak king both personify summer and winter would battle and the holy could holy king would win and then the Druids introduced their um, Yule Logs as a community gathering more in their homes rather than around the community fire. Uh, foods of the seasons is nut, nuts, apples, oranges, pears, dried fruits soaked in cider, uh, made into a cake, pork dishes, roast pork, ham, or boar, bread made in the shape of the sun, gingerbread, root vegetables, all hearty warming meals. I've made a root vegetable stew today. So yeah. I get that because it's cold and you have mulled wine or wassail, mulled wine, ginger tea, homemade teas of orange cloves, cinnamon and nutmeg. I'm only skimming it and it's just like spells and it's got um, how to make um, mulled cider or wassail, um, your log recipe and that, so that's that. So I put in it, generally put all that in the yellow so I don't lose it until I put it away into my, my folders and whatnot. Um, so that's pretty good, those those little um, invita um, information booklets are really good. So there's that, let's move that over there of course. Right, so then we've got... So this was it's come out of So this is a um, from Relax and Revive Freya's Cauldrons which Saporium Apography and it's bath salts. Oh, and she's brought all over the shop. Um, so they smell really lovely. Um, so we've got them in the bag because it's easier for me to hold them a little while. No, it says to heal the mind, body, and soul. 
Then there's the Elder Moon Herb Blend and there's Bay Leaf in there, Rose. I think some lavenders in there and that. So you can find that as incense. I've got as an offering or whatever you want to do. I will try and get your silks in it. it smells lovely. Play leaf there. It looks like that in there. Can you see that? Oh, I got cold last night. I put my central heating on and I said to Paul, turn it off before you come to bed. And then I got up to go to the toilet and take the dog out for a wee. And it was about one o'clock in the morning and the central heating was still on. The thermostat has gone. So I had to call them to come and mend it and they're coming tomorrow. So. There's lemon balm from the Apocryphy. It looks like that. Most of these herbs do look all the same. I think, like, you've got to know what they are, the smells and stuff, but, yeah, it's lemon balm. I grow that out in the garden. And then we've got this little box here, which is from the Apocryphy as well, and it's Crystal Magic. And it's a little box full of crystals, and I can tell you what they are, because they're greatly put numbered them and said what they are so first of all we've got the black one and this is amazonian amazon amazon night and this is like a light green but it's got like flecks in it like darker floor i don't know if i can show you you see it's got like little dark green spots in it there's that i'm so glad they did this because i wouldn't know what is what and the red bag, we've got a moonstone. I always thought the moonstone was a lot lighter, but obviously there's different types. So this is a moonstone. It's all very lovely. Like little, looks like coffee. Coffee sweet or something. And then we've got the pink bag, which is a... Oh, <coughs> drops on the floor. Why is it? That always happens to me. Why does it always happen to me? Sorry about that, guys. I always drop them. Drops that. So this is one that we all know, which is a clear crystal quartz, and it's a it's a um, bit of a rough one. Bit of a point because it's just got sharp edges and that and rough, so that's a clear crystal. So I like that song. Oh, don't worry, baby. Oh, it is. Oh. Right, and then we've got um, a tree agate. No, I've never heard of a tree agate. I know that Journey into the Realm likes moss agate. This is really pretty. It's got like white and green. It's very beautiful. I like this. And then we have one that we know, Hermitite. It's very heavy, this one. I was trying to find something that was uh, metal yesterday because it should stick to metal. But I've got nothing around here that's metal. So, can't help you there. But if you put Hermitite together, you can feel that it can be like a magnet. It's quite a heavy, heavy crystal. And last but not least, we have Chow Isteny. Chow Isteny. I don't know how to say that. It's another green stone. Oh, another green stone. But this time, it's got like little lines in. I'm not sure if you can see. Um, where's my phone? Let's see if I can show you because it is really, really pretty. You see, they've got line, it's got lines going through it. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's really pretty. So there's that. And that's all the crystals in the box and the little thing. And then we have... Let's put that back in the little purple thing so I know what's what. And then we have this one, which is a jade stone. Now, jade I always associate with green. It's not green, 
it's like a, a yellowy colour. I don't know if it's. Uh, oh, it's Paul interrupting as always. And then we've got this lovely magical moon enamel pin. Where did I put the box now? I can't remember. Because he's disturbed me. I was just telling him that my daughter and her wife um, bought me an hoodie to keep me warm. So I got that today and it's a little one with pink hair. It's really cute. And then we got the spell kit, which is healing mini spell jar kit. And we've got all we need. I'll let you know what we've got. Right. I haven't got it in there. Right. It's gone again. Somebody. So we've got a little, a little spell um, bottle. Oops. It's gone again. There's a toothpick, but I don't know where that's gone. This is the um, Healing Herb Blend. You can see it. Just like that. I know there's, um, I can see lavender in there. I wish I knew what the blend was. It's a shame really that I don't put what's in the actual blends. It would be nice to know. And there should be a toothpick and a white candle. And it says you need the healing blend oil. And I was thinking, where's that? Where's that? Wait, hang on. Did they not pack it? Just wait and see. So that tells you what to do with the spell and everything. I, I, I should really do things like this because it's good for me. So there's that. Put that down. Then, speaking of, there's the oil. This smells really nice. And this is the healing oil. It smells, you can smell lemon balm in it. Some sort of lemony whatnot. So that's the the oil that we use to dress our candle with it or car. and then we've got our candles for this month which is a white candle a brown candle a blue candle a green one and a light purple one looks like that looks like the colour bag and the last thing we've got is the last in the Wooden plaques, and this is from November the 25th to December the 22nd, and it is the Elder Moon. And like I said, we have all the information about the Elder Moon in our Book of Shadows. So, checking our list here, we have the spell candles. Okay, spell candles. We have the Moon Blend. We have the jade stone that's in the box, the enamel pin that's in the box, and the, oh it is lemon balm, lemon balm hair jar, no, no it isn't lemon balm, it's lemon balm, yep, yeah, right, so we've got, in here we've got the crystals, the jade, and the, um, what do you call it, I forgot what they're called now, I have no idea what, what they are, I can't remember. Uh, the crystals, all the crystals in here, and the badge. Then we've got the oil, we've got the spell, we've got the smellies, we've got the lemon balm, and we've got the book of shadows, and the wooden thing. And that is Frag's Cauldron for November. 2023. So starting next month, we're going to have practical magic. Is it is practical magic next month? It's the start. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see how different it is and what it's like. I do enjoy this um, box very much. So yeah, so that was my first portion. Well, thank you for joining me on this. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. I'm going to push the back of me. Oh, and Pip's over, I uh, can see Pip, hello Pip, can see Pip, hello Pip, Pip, um, yeah, so, yes, it, it's a lot, um, I'm interested to see which way it's going to go once it's, um, um, the new Practical Magic, it sounds really interesting, it's a cup of tea, a sneaky bit of, um, JD, because I've got a bit of a cold coming, so I just want to, 
I don't always said have a cup of tea with a little bit of whiskey in it and it helps you um, get over a cold so that's what I thought I'd do because I'm feeling a bit coldy. I was sneezing for quite a long time last night. I was like sneeze, sneeze, sneeze. Pause one more. So anyway, off topic. So thank you for watching. Hope to see you next month on Freya's Cauldron. Thank you Freya and husband. I think the box is brilliant again and I hope that everybody stays safe and well and keeps warm because it's starting getting cold. And I will see you in the next Pink Poodle 2. And what do we say? Pip, 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 pip. No. We say it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't. Until next time on Pink Poodle 2. Thank you for watching. Take care. Mwah.